you're wondering what's happening to the truck market, this is what's happening. Listen. It's cooling off. It's slowing down. But the high lines are still doing good. A lot of stuff's still doing good. It's not an overall disaster, but it is changing. It's this time of year. Hey guys, it's time for today's market report. I just wrapped out Dallas. All the lane reps and I are beat. California was good. It was better than it has been. I asked them to turn that radio off, but I can't get everything done around here, I ask. But this is our little uh, set. This is where we sell our cars here in Dallas. We've got seven lanes. I think right now we've got six lanes going because it's that time of year where it gets slower and it's uh, not as much action. We don't get as many cars bought. I think today we sold 650, 630. You know, our, our high water mark is 1,700 sold. But a, but a good spring market, we're selling 1,400 a week. So it it's, sounds like a ton to be selling 650, but actually it's we're geared up for over a thousand a week. So it's a little slow for us. The market overall is, um, it's okay. I think we're at a bottom. What's that mean? I mean, it's not in every silo in every sector, but next to new is definitely dipping off for sure. At the end of the sale today, the German sector, I noticed was light, lighter. You can tell by the online counts and the, uh, the way the bids come in, the speed of the bids coming in. When it's slower, they're being more picky and they're being, you know, they want to buy them cheaper. They force the market down. They meaning you guys, the buyers. We don't set the market. You know, John, you make the market. Y'all make the market. We don't make the market. Y'all make the market. The buyers make the market. We speculate on the market. But the next new truck segment is definitely slipping hard. That's the biggest adjustment. The hardest time I had today was uh, repping in lane 24, which is our truck lane. But again, California seemed to lift up our lane in Anaheim, which was a nice um, change. The um, strike is over. The reality of the price of that setting in, it's been an adjustment this season. You know, we're in, we're in November. And uh, I would guess that the Thanksgiving week will be the lowest point if this isn't already here. It's right around here. I don't expect a blast off after Thanksgiving, but I do ex expect an uptick. You know, you've seen trucks, MMRs drop seven, eight grand on some next to new stuff. You know, 2024 GMC Ultimate Denali, for instance. MMR was 108, we sold some today. It had an MMR of 93, and we sold them for 90. So uh, it's tough, you gotta sell them fast, and if you sit on them, you're gonna get hurt. I see dealers buying cars on, on new money and to cost adjust and roll the water into the other one. So you got a car that you got 100 grand in that now can be bought for 85. They're buying that car again for 85 and they're taking the money and um, writing down the other one and evening out their inventory so they can mark the market. That's the smart way to do business. You gotta navigate through this market like you're going through rapids because it is different and it's hard. Some people opt to just sit on the sidelines and just wait it out. Some people trade it, we trade it. Uh, you trade it, a lot of guys trade it. But the, the stealing socks are definitely on the stealing shoes. People are wanting to steal the cars and they do. You know, but what is stealing? Is that stealing or is that the market? People going to the website and getting the new bids, you know, hey man, you bid this thing last July for 38,000. Now you're offering 33, what's up? It happens on some of them. Some of them are still 38,000. They give me the VIN. You know, we buy a lot of cars from consumers and I can tell you one thing, the prices are not going up. They are not going up. There's not a segment that's going up. No cars are good, they're firming up, but they're not up. I mean, they're not up from a couple months ago. There's nothing that's up from a couple of months ago. So, happy trading, happy buying and selling. I know this market report's a little light. I don't have a lot of detail. I don't have any help out here today. They're shutting the place down on me right now, shutting the doors. I gotta go back to the office and get some work done. Have a good one.